Oh. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Oh, is anyone watching yet? My sister's supposed to be watching. Three people already. Two. This is fantastic. I'm just waiting for my coffee here to finish. Welcome to the kitchen, by the way. I told everyone I was going to make some apple crisp. I'm going to use the crock pot lady's recipe. Uh, what was her name? Stephanie O'Day. Who's watching? Has anyone commented yet? Oh, you gotta go back to comments. Mm. Amber, actually. Ashley? Amber. Oh, Steph. Steph? Hello, welcome. I can't see the comments, so. Um, Amy? He can. Who? Amy. Who? Amy. 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 Oh, I'm just going. Romaine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know her. Still waiting on my grandmother. My grandmother should be showing up here. Hopefully, Daniel will be watching. But I'm going to use one of uh, Stephanie's recipes. It's only five ingredients, and you use a crock pot. Can they see the crock pot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. So it's going to be very simple and easy. As soon as I get my coffee here, I'm giving people time to come on. Five people. That's it. Oh my lord. It'll Amy, go up. Amy said you better remember her. Of course I remember who Amy is. Amy Romine, yeah. Author Amy. So who needs to come back on my show at some point for the new year? A lot of people need to come back. I have a feeling that apple crisp is going to go good with some coffee. And plus, it's 16 degrees outside right now and very, very windy. So I'm cold. Taylor's watching. What's up, Kayla? Taylor. Taylor? Yeah. Oh, you know Taylor. Yeah. You better know who Taylor is. What's up, Taylor? That's not part of the recipe. No, this is not part of the recipe. <laughs> This is just me. There's a good grandma. My grandmother's finally watching. Yeah. Hello, Graham. I know people are. Uh, it takes a while for people to come on. Mm. Yeah, because of that delay. We got about seven people, so. Can... Seven people? It's going up, so I better yeah. get to. you cooking. Crack a lack in here, cooking. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. All right. What kind of creamer is that? Somebody ask. Oh, I can show you. I don't put sugar in my coffee, as strange as that sounds, at home. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts, unfortunately, that's a whole different subject. Um, Italian sweet cream. This is all you need right here. This is it. I love this stuff. And you, as you can see, I, we use a lot of it. So it's very good. All right. Well, I'll just cook. Any other questions? Shout them out. All right. So Apple Crisp. I don't have the book in front of me because I own it digitally. Uh, but this is Sandra O'Day's uh, five ingredients or less uh, for the crock pot. I'll put the link. Uh, to the book after the show so everybody can uh, check it out. So I thought that I would start with something simple and easy. I, they're all simple and easy. They're all five ingredients and it's an entire book of like stuff that I had no idea that you could cook in your crock pot. So Damien here went out and grabbed a crock pot for me. Um, this is a, what was it? Five. five quart. So this recipe actually calls for a four to five quart uh, crock pot for you to use so and it's really simple and easy so apple crisp that's what I'm making in the crock pot I know it sounds strange right because normally like my sister Heather wrote to me and said in a crock pot what are you crazy nor it goes in the oven because it's got to get crispy well let me tell you I've already made some I'll show you that after but it gets crispy so and it's simple and easy you're going to just stand right there. They can see the steaming and everything. Yeah. All right. So I'll make sure to put the recipe up for everyone. If you want to try it and make it at home, it 
really is simple and easy. So, um, granola. Any type of granola, a cereal granola, or bags of granola, or whatever. I, I picked up kind, right? Kind? Mm -hmm. I love kind. Um, that's all it is. Two cups of granola. That's all you need. Simple and easy, right? Fourth of a cup. Is that how you say that? Mm -hmm. Right? Fourth of a cup. You could tell I'm not used to cooking stuff. Uh, dark brown sugar. Don't use regular brown sugar, I guess. I don't know. So fourth of a cup. If it'll come out. Really? You can break it up. What? You can break it up. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I would hope so. What am I missing? Oh, the butter. And... Is this a fourth, right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yes. Four right. tablespoons. Four tablespoons? Or a quarter. Quarter of a stick of butter. I'm cheating. I already have them in the little squares or whatever. So we're just going to melt that in the microwave. I'm not doing it on the stove because no stoves are required. that for about a minute because it takes forever for it to melt. So beforehand you're gonna wanna spray your insert. Hopefully everyone is warm during this cold, cold weather. This weather sucks if you're in the Northeast like me. Ah, so we got our melted butter finally. In the mixture it goes. Yeah, I need something to stir it with, don't I? Orange juice too. Huh? No, the orange juice doesn't go in Okay. Oh my goodness. I know you want some, but you're going to have to wait. All right. What do I want to use? <clears throat> so we're going to toss that all together. So good. I just want to eat this. Can I just eat the topping? No. Why? Oh my god, brown sugar, dark brown sugar, excuse me, and butter and granola. And I think one of the best parts of this recipe is that you can use any type of topping you want. As far as granola, they got so many types of granolas out there. So, I just did a simple one. This has, I mean, I'll mention it. I accidentally bought the wrong <laughs> bag of granola. So, this one has a hint of coconut in it. So, and actually, you really can't taste the coconut all that much. So, but it's still good. I don't care. All right. I forgot to mention that you're going to need four large apples. That's all it takes is four large apples. And you're going to slice them up. Decor them, whatever you need to do, peel them, which I've already done that. Well, I didn't do it, but somebody else did. Ooh, listen to that wind. All right, so we got that going. Now I just need another bowl here. Is anyone saying anything, or are they just watching? Ashley says it's extremely cold out. It is cold, let me tell you. It is cold. 
Now, the other weird thing about this recipe is that it calls for orange juice. Who knew, right? So your four large apples. Whoop. Uh oh. Nice and cold. And then orange juice. Oh, what are you doing? What was it? Two tablespoons? Yeah. yeah. Two tablespoons of orange juice. You can use whatever you want. As long as it's orange juice. I don't do pulp. Pulp's disgusting. Me personally, anyways. Two of them, right? Yep. Okay. And you're going to toss them in with the apples. Uh-oh. A little too much. Chris has no type of apples. You can use any type of apples. There were, she does not uh, label really anything. I have Red Delicious here. And that's what I use. So you can use Granny Smith. You can use Red Delicious or Macintosh. It's up to you. Whatever you uh, prefer. So, uh, mm, Ashley. A shout out to Paula Dean for coming out with your, uh, all your uh, dishes and cooking stuff. I love it. All right. Your sister's not like you. She asks why she likes pulp orange juice. Who said that? Ashley. Ashley? That's because she's cray cray. I like it too. So, mm. so anyways, we're going to toss that with the orange juice with the apples. I don't know the purpose of it. Um, I'll have to ask her. That's something I've never heard of. So you just toss them in. Toss them around. It's pretty easy if you already have um, this already planned out. It's easy for your kids. It's an easy snack, too. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, apples and orange juice. Who knew, right? All right. So, we're done with that. In they go, like so. Flatten them out just a little bit there. Flatten everything out. Perfect. Now, I'm assuming, I'm assuming here, folks, that you could probably do this the same way if you were to make uh, peach crisp. Peaches. I love peach crisp. That's my favorite. Uh, but yeah, so because all it would be was a can of peaches. Unless you want to use fresh, I would use canned. I love canned. And then over top of that goes our lovely brown sugar butter granola awesomeness. <laughs> Spreading it out just a little bit. Although nobody minds a nice thick layer of goodness here. Oh my goodness. Okay. And then in it goes. If you want to make this probably, if you want this for a dessert, let's say, you would probably want to make this in the afternoon because on low, it's going to take, what was it? Four to five hours on low. If you want it quicker than that, say you just didn't get around to it because you were a lazy bum reading on your Kindle like me, uh, you, can, you can do it in two hours on high. So um, I've already went and cooked one on the four to five hours. I'll show you that in just a second and how we're going to dish it up. But this one here, I'm going to cook on high because it's already 8.15. 
So I'm going to try to get it on as quick as possible. So there it goes. And you just set it and forget it until whatever. What? Pam. What? I Pam. Oh, Pam. 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 Oh. Yeah, wait for the crock pot. <laughs> Okay, there's that. Oh, I need some coffee here. Any questions so far? Oh. Don't flip that up. No one's saying anything? Oh. Huh? Nothing? Who's, how many is watching? It says four. Four people? Oh, I've lost them. But anyways. So anyways, I already went ahead and made some. I did eat some, by the way. This is not the whole amount that you're going to get. So. You can warm it up. You can eat it cold. You can eat it over ice cream. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to serve it up. And it doesn't matter if you smushed all together it's just all apple yummy goodness oh my goodness so this is the one i made earlier and i mean you can i'm using little dishes here so that's all i'm doing i should have got in why you put orange juice in it i don't know i don't know what that's for i'm gonna have to i will email stephanie and ask her uh why she did um Whatever you, uh, orange juice. And to top it all off. Stuff says warm it up. You, like I said, you can warm it up or you can eat it cold like me. There you go. That's not your normal amount. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're giving me, you're giving away more secrets again. So, but anyway, I mean, if you're doing something for the kids or what, or like me, you know, portion control or whatever, because I'm fat, use little dishes, whatever. But like I said, ice cream, vanilla bean ice cream. So. Your yeah. sister used a throw up emoji next to orange juice. Heather. Whatever. All right. So yeah, so that's pretty much apple crisp. I'm gonna try another recipe at some other point. I know that uh, last week was uh, Dacia doing uh, oxtail. I still have to get the recipe from her. Um, that way people know how to cook the stuff. Uh, she was gonna give like your secret on your whipped cream anyway, so. All right, so that's done and out of the way. If anyone has any questions about that, you can ask me some other time. So it came out, I think it came out good. I think that it will. And to make sure, actually, so when you think and you know that this is done and it's however you cooked it or whatever, so you leave it uncovered to uh, the last maybe 20 minutes or so, um, you would uncover it because it's gonna let all the condensation get out of it. And that's how the crust is gonna harden. So I know that people were worried about, well, it's supposed to be crispy, you know? It does, trust me. I think it's good. I really <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. Is it? Oh. The whipped cream is, anyways. <laughs> that is the best. Wow, and I made that. Who knew? Yep, you guys are going to have to try this recipe. I'm telling you. Ooh. 
That was done. All right, enough of that. Now it's time to move upstairs. So bear with me. You won't see anything, but you'll still be able to hear me. Go ahead. Ugh. Oh. Thanks. I'll clean that when I come back down. All right. Oh. Ooh, listen to that wind. Oh, my Lord. Just give me one second here, folks. I gotta go back to sitting down here. Now, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, there we are. Hello, everyone. Um, I have to do something here. I need to change my camera, front camera. Right? Whoa, hello. What's up? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah, that wind is pretty bad there, Ash. Uh, I'm telling you. Yep. Attitude, attitude. What attitude? Ugh. No, it was good cold, uh, Steph. It was good cold. But anyways, so welcome. I apologize that I didn't do a show. What's wrong with this thing? Um whatever uh what day was it thursday wasn't feeling very well so my stomach was gurgling gurgling all day so i'm like uh oh i don't know if i'm gonna be able to sit there for a whole hour without having to run to make an emergency run to the bathroom so i'm like no i better cancel it so besides that uh, Daniel's been uh, back doing his shows. I don't know if people have been paying attention and, and watching. I hope you have. Um, I, I missed it. I feel bad, but I caught the end of it uh, and made sure that I said hello. I don't see him on here, which is weird because normally he uh, is watching. But, uh, yeah. So if anyone, uh, if you read her book after I post it, it's really, it's really a good book. I can't bring it up because it's on my iPad and I'm unfortunately using my iPad. Um, let me know if you want me to make something. I don't know what I want to make next. She's got everything. Soups, appetizers, dinners, breakfasts, snacks, you name it. It's in that book. So, and I'm definitely going to have to uh, tag her on this. Uh, that way she can answer the question about the whole orange juice thing because... It was kind of strange to me, but then again, half the time we eat stuff and we don't even know what's in it. So, uh, okay. So the other part of this show, um, only because I got about 35 minutes left on this cold Saturday, ugh, is uh, questions that were sent in by people and... I wanted to read some and answer some questions. So if anyone has any questions while we're doing this Q&A, just blurt them out and I will read them and answer them. Uh, but I'm pretty sure everyone pretty much knows me. Um, but obviously, these are from people who probably don't know me very well. Maybe that's a good thing. So, but yeah. So, did I do okay? I'm pretty sure I did okay. Everyone saw everything. You know what was going in there. What it looked like. That was really good, too. It really was. So. Oh, Ashley sent a couple of questions on, on Messenger. I'll have to read those. Oh, thanks, Ash. I'll make, I God only knows what they're going to what they're going to be. I'm kind of scared. But, yeah. Hopefully everyone's weekend, or week, went by. Oh, a lot happened this week, huh? Oh, my goodness. It's been a good week. A very good week. A very good week. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. I thought you did good with showing everything. Oh, thanks, Ash. Oh, yeah, I know that I did. I know I did. So hopefully everyone's having a good night so far and watching. Don't forget, if you missed it, you can always uh, go back through and um, oh, Sandy Cheek. <laughs> it was only a matter of time before you popped out of nowhere. What's up? Oh, the cast is finally off but in pain. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. So, but anyway, so I did the cooking part of it and now it's on to questions. And I know that um, I just got Ashley's uh, two questions. So thanks for the questions. So now it's time for uh, Q and A with Brian. So that's what I'm calling it anyways. So, <laughs> oh, someone just laughed at my show. So, uh, Damien already has a, a question for people. What's Brian's favorite dessert at Disney? I don't know. Uh, favorite dessert? Favorite dessert. Dessert. I don't know. There's so many. Yeah. Ash, there's so many. I can't recall. Well, that's good, Sandy. Your foot's not broke. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my favorite dessert is down there. I have no idea. My favorite dessert? Mickey cake or Chef de France? Chef de France? What's the dessert at Chef de France? I can't remember. The Mickey cake is a really good cake. I'm not going to lie. White chocolate, hello, with white ganache inside. Ah! 50 bucks for those things. <laughs> Chef de France. What did I have at Chef de France? I can't remember what they serve the, for the dessert at Chef de France. Uh, oh, the apple. Apple. That's what I get with the uh, ice cream, right? Yeah, won't be able to have that. So, yeah, I can't, I don't know what my favorite dessert is. So, Ashley's question number one is what's something that you've never been able to do well? I don't know that I haven't been able to do well. Singing. I don't sing. There. That's a good question. Thanks, Ash, for your first question. Second question from Ashley. What's the funniest place you've ever fallen asleep? Really? I don't even know. Funniest place I've ever fallen asleep. I don't think I have. The funniest place I've ever fallen asleep. I have no idea. I really don't. Chris. Hi, Chris. It's 8.30. Chris is here. Chris, I made apple crisp at the beginning of the show. I started at 8 o'clock. I don't know if you were watching that or, or whatever. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have to rewatch that. So, uh, Liar, he always got good scores on those game console games for songs he knew. No, I don't know how to sing. So... Stop telling people stuff about me. This is not fair. I'm going to come back down there in a second. So, I don't even know what you're talking about. Rock band? <laughs> no. That I was drinking. Let's just put it that way. I That was our margarita night. Uh, so, yeah.
Lady Gaga. Who's Lady Gaga? You can't even type. I don't even know where he is, but uh, yeah. Uh, excuse me, Heather. Thank you very much. I got a lot of points on Rock Band or whatever it was called when I had a few margaritas in me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I think I did very well. So I don't see you fucking singing. So shut it. All right. What else? Oh, Ash, thanks for your next question. Oh, this is a very good question, Ashley. Speaking of food, Nikki Jones. What's up, Nikki Jones? So Ashley's question, uh, which celebrity chef would you most like to make you dinner? Martha Stewart. No. Paula Dean. I would want some southern fried chicken. Ooh, her chicken is so good, Paula Deen's. But anyways, uh, Steph, I fell asleep at the Christmas Spectacular show in New York City and started to snore. Oh, uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good. Lady Gaga, I did do Lady Gaga songs. That's when they were popular. Not popular anymore. So, yeah. Chef Ramsey. Yep. I wouldn't mind him. Absolutely. Oh, Ash, you're just full of so many questions. Uh, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh... I'm going to have to say, if I have to eat one food for the rest of my life, if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Cheesecake. Probably. No, ice cream. No, cheesecake. Maybe pizza. Pizza. I'm going to say pizza. Because at least then you can uh, change it up. Hamburger. I will eat cheeseburgers every day. Hell yeah. Cheesecake. That's right, Nikki. Me and you. Cheesecake. So, Ashley, I don't know where you come up with these questions, but thank you for sending them in because nobody else sent in any questions for me. So if you got stuck on an elevator and were forced to listen to only one song, what song would you pick? If you got stuck on an elevator and were forced to listen to only one song, what song would you pick? That's a very good question. I don't know. I don't think people know what type of music I'm into because I don't think I've ever really talked about that on the show. So, um, no. Nikki Jones, I will ban you from this show. No. Nope, nope, nope. It's a small world can kiss my ass. I don't care. Nope. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. And I don't care for the ride either. So, don't care. Sorry, Graham. I know you like the ride and everything. Damien likes it too. But I don't. I find it to be annoying. And all those little dolls... Anytime I go through on the, and the only reason why I ride the ride is because I need to get out of the heat. It's a short ride and you're cool going through or whatever. Uh, Brian, if you had to choose between playing, playing in Naked and Afraid or SpongeBob, what you do? SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah but anyways the song i don't really know i would have to say i don't know i don't really know 
Anything Cher. I like Cher. I've seen Cher. So I like her music. There, we'll go with her. Something good. You can't go wrong with Cher, right? So, yeah. Uh, my aunt, of course, likes the ride. It's relaxing. Uh, looks like the Precious Moments styles. Yeah, they may look like the Precious Moments styles, but anytime I'm on, actually on the ride, I'm waiting for them to burst into flames and start melting from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Did anyone see that movie where the dolls got caught on fire? It was hilarious. But anyways, that's uh, what I would... That's what it reminds me of. And the music just keeps going around and around and around. And then what's worse is that it changes uh, languages. So each time you go through the different parts of the countries or, you know, whatever, they sing it in their own language. And it just gets really, really annoying. And that's one ride. I don't know what Walt was thinking when he planned that damn ride. I have no idea. If it wasn't for the music, maybe I wouldn't mind it so much, but it's just so annoying. But it is relaxing to kind of just go through the ride and sit there, whatever. So, uh, Damien would go with something classical, but simple. So you can kind of do it like background. Oh, yeah. So, Sandy Cheek wants to know what my favorite roller coaster is at Six Flags. Well, that's a very easy question for you, or easy answer. None of them are my favorite. I do not ride roller coasters. So, but I did back in the day when it was Riverside. I know that. One of them I did. But roller coasters? Nope, I don't do roller coasters. So, <clears throat> and then you would sing it all damn day. That's true, Nikki. I probably would sing the song over and over and over again. It would probably get stuck inside my head. So, yeah, that's true. All right, who else? Uh, oh, Ashley's cheating again. Oh, my goodness. So, uh, this, <laughs> which I have, I believe I have. This question is, have you ever worn clothing with the label's tags still attached? So these questions are coming from, it ain't Ashley, it's me. <laughs> I'm just blaming it on Ashley. Um, have you ever worn clothes with the labels or tags still attached? I don't think that I've worn clothes with the tags still on them, but I have worn like shirts or pants with that clear sticker that says large, medium, or extra large on it. You know, that long strip you got to rip off. I have done that. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Superman is mine or Bizarro, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, for the rides. So, uh, the Boomerang in New York State is Sandy's uh, choice of... roller coaster. So, yeah, I don't ride them. I, I really don't like them. So that's just me anyways. So, yep, I have, I've Space Mountain. I've never been on Space Mountain. I'll never go on Space Mountain. So, uh, yeah. Good question, Sandy. Keep them up. I'm not answering that question. These are some ridiculous questions, by the way. So, Big Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is another good one. I haven't been on that one either. I do have to get on it. I was supposed to get on it last year, not, no, two years ago, but I never did. I chickened out. Hell, my grandmother rides roller coasters, but I don't. But then again, everyone's different, right? So I think they have changed it, though, the name anyways. Of what? I didn't read of anyone. Uh... Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't do roller coasters, so everyone can glow. Oh, I've been on that ride. Oh, I've been right on that. <laughs> Nobody cares. No one cares. Superman from Six Flags seems to be a popular ride. So, Sandy Cheek, do you remember the crazy stuff you did as a kid? No, I don't. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Yeah, we all did crazy stuff. So. Heather, no one cares. No one cares. I do want to forgive it. You're absolutely right. I do. Uh, I'm. Oh, it moves. It move. It sways side to side. Everest in Animal Kingdom is stupid, by the way. So nobody should be running that ride, anyways. Sorry, Disney, but. I just don't care for it. And the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, I probably would do. I was planning on doing it and back in December here, but unfortunately, I was not able to go on my vacation, which I'm not very happy with. But what are you going to do? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Ah! So no Disney and flying for me, but I'll get down there at some point. Hopefully this year will be different. Hopefully by December, everything will be fine. And I can go down there and go be on vacation and uh not go crazy so sandy cheeks craziest thing she did as a kid is sticking an eraser eraser top uh in my nose i regret it yeah i would hope so i would hope so yes I think the craziest thing I've ever done as a child would be, and of course my aunt and grandmother will tell you this anyways, uh, <laughs> is leaving school. I don't even know how old I was. How old was I when I walked out of school right past the secretaries and everything and was hoofing it to grandma's house? And grandma lived probably what? Is it not even six, maybe seven miles down the road? Maybe eight, maybe more than that. I don't know. I walk into grandma's house. I had to be picked up by the cops. But, and my aunt tells me that I used to go down to the post office and ask people for money. I don't remember that, but yeah. Those are some things I remember. So, yep. Kindergarten. Yeah, I was in kindergarten. I, I walked out of the school and because I apparently didn't realize that my... I couldn't wait for my mother to come pick me at me. So I was off to grandma's house. So I got, I got pretty far. I heard I got, well, I, I shouldn't say halfway. That wasn't halfway, but it was a good distance. So, uh, but yeah. So what time do we have? Oh, we got 15 minutes. So, uh, yeah. All right. So enough about the questions and whatever else that was, just an idea that I have, but I'm glad that people are asking questions. So that's good to know. So, yeah. So what else was I supposed to say? Oh, so everyone's going to have to wait until next Thursday to watch another show. Uh, Thursday seem to be working out, so I'm going to do Thursdays. I have a feeling that Dacia will probably join me on the next show. She, like I told you in the beginning, she's not going to be on every show. Um, yeah. What kind of question is that? What's the thing you remember the most? Like, out of everything?
the thing I remember the most I don't talk about, so I'm not, I'm not going to say what it is. Um, there's only one thing I think about the most, but and I shouldn't, but I do anyways. So, uh, crazy things. You don't want to remember crazy things either. Yeah, I don't think anyone wants to remember crazy things when they were a kid. So it, that's something that you bring up when you're like 90 years old and you're reminiscing, you know, about back in the day. I walked 20 feet in the snow and 20 feet of snow. So, yeah. But anyways, so we're going through this pandemic and everything, and I'm trying to, a lot of my shows are like done now. So is there anything that people are watching that I need to be watching? I know I've asked this question before. Um, I, I think the only thing I'm starting to watch on TV is um, Snowpiercer on TNT. I don't know if anyone else is watching that. Uh, I was a fan of the movie and they turned it into a series. So you guys can check that out if you want to. Um, I know that everyone's got all these streaming services and just <clears throat> it gets to be a little crazy. You just have so much to watch. Like you don't even know what to watch anymore. So yeah, Nikki Jones, Snowpiercer, yes. I think you would like that show very much. So it's a pretty aw awesome show. Um, I liked the movie, and they're already on season two, so I've already started to watch um, season one right now. Uh, me and Damien are, are watching it, because season two starts January 25th. Um, so yeah, Nurse Ratchet, uh, is another one and no, I'm not watching Nurse Ratchet. I have a couple of people that I know that have watched it and, uh, liked it. So yeah. Oh yeah. Nikki, you're not going to want to watch this with kids though. Not really. I mean, there's, yeah, no, don't. <laughs> That's something you want to watch at night. So, uh, Nurse Ratchet, I'm, I'm not, I don't really care for Nurse Ratchet, so... I don't care for that at all. But I did hear from people who actually do like that sort of stuff that it is good. If you're into like um, American Horror Story or whatever, it's almost, it's not the same thing, but it's almost like that. It's, no thank you. So. I can hear myself. Did you turn that off? Yep, I can't hear myself anymore. All right. So, yeah. So, what's everyone watching? I need to watch something. I got 10 minutes. Ooh, I forgot about my coffee. Oh, my coffee. Chris says, what did Chris have to say? Get Dan on as a guest soon. That's always fun. I know. I do need to have Dan on at some point. Connor. What's up, Connor? Jerk. Can't even message me or talk to me anymore. I see how it is. Yes, make sure you DVR it, Nikki. You're, uh, it's, it's a good show. But start from the beginning, though. Start from season one, though, because you got time. Well, you got a couple of days anyways. Um, but I would definitely start with season one. Don't watch season two or whatever. So, but yeah. And, of course, Connor, you're late, considering I have nine minutes left. So, nice to see you, Connor. Jesus. How's the new job going? I hope it's going good. Me, I'm being lazy. I'm I'm staying home. I, I don't feel like going out anywhere anymore. So that's what I'm doing. I'm being a bum. Right about now. Right? Well, he's not even there. I don't even know where he is. But anyways. Uh 90 day fiance. The older girls like the whole 90 day fiance. 90 day. Oh, yeah, no, I know what that show is. No, thank you. I'm pretty sure it's hilarious as shit because the stuff that they do on that show is a little crazy. So, yeah. So, yeah. 
90 Day Fiance, anime. Connor watches anime. No, thank you. No, thank you. But I do read a couple of comics that are like anime. So. But I won't watch it. No, thank you. Nothing wrong with it. I just wouldn't do it. So. Nikki, are you saying that this show can be ridiculous or 90 Day Fiance can be ridiculous? Both, probably. Absolutely. So. All right, I'm winding down to just a couple of minutes left. So, like I was saying earlier, Daisy will probably be on next week. I would hope um, that she um, graces us with her presence. Um, she probably will not be cooking or whatever. Um, we're going to hold off on the whole cooking thing for a little while. You'll see it in between. If you missed me cooking the apple crisp, just rewatch it. It's only 10 minutes um, in the beginning of this uh, show or whatever. So... We'll have a couple of topics to talk about. Probably, I don't know, probably two topics. So if anyone wants us to talk about... Is there anything that you want to see uh, Daisy Ann and I talk about? Like any topics or anything? It could be anything. I don't care what the hell it is. So um, I think that it would be interesting to see um, what she thinks about things. You know, it's, I mean, you know, she's a good friend of mine, but um, I've probably don't talk to her like that or ask certain questions. So if you guys can think of something, I'd love to see what her reaction is or what her answers are. So, or her thoughts, opinions, I should say. So just let me know and we'll plan that for Thursday. Don't be late, Connor. You're probably not even watching anymore. He probably skipped on just to say hello and left. So, yeah. Oh, and Graham, <laughs> I forgot to tell you. Um, I was going to text, well, I should text Val, but I'm pretty sure she's upstairs. He's in the downstairs room, anyways. Um, just let her know that One Calls the Heart there on the Hallmark Channel, Season 7, has already started. But I have a feeling that you can only watch it online now. And you got to pay for it. And I think once it's done, then it'll air on regular TV. I think that's what they're doing. Which I think sucks. Because I'm not paying to watch it. I shouldn't have to. But yeah, just let her know. It's season 7 is here. So for people who love the Hallmark Channel. I love Hallmark Channel. Right? Yeah, whatever. So, I'll have to text her. I'll let, I'll call her tomorrow and let her know. So, yeah. Nikki likes uh, the Hallmark Channel. I don't watch the Hallmark Channel all the time. Just around Christmas time. And then for, like, uh, one show. Maybe two. And then that's it. So. Yep. <laughs> So, yeah, if you guys have any uh, topics that you want uh, Daisy and I to talk about on the next show, put it out there. Comment on this video. Let me know. Don't forget to share. Like the video, please. It's simple and easy. All you got to do is click share or like or heart or whatever. Uh, I loved long Lifetime Network. Yeah, that's a good... Uh, whatever. Allie, hello, and goodbye. Uh, it's time for me to go. But it's good to see you, Allie. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope that everyone enjoyed my little quick recipe from Stephanie O'Day's book, uh, which I will post uh, the link for the book so everyone can check it out. It's also on Kindle. So if anyone has Amazon Prime and you pay for Kindle Unlimited, it is one of those books. So, uh, yeah, I think. Or did I pay for it? Maybe I paid for it. I think I paid for it. I don't know. I'll have to check. But anyways, uh, yeah. That's about it. Anyone have anything else? Any other questions, concerns, issues, problems? I'll give you a 1-800 number so you can complain. Anybody else?
Chris, I believe, um, I think she did a 23 in me. I'm going to have to ask her. That's a very good question. Um, that's a story in itself because I know that her aunt did, uh, I believe it was 23 and me and the results were completely, totally different from what she, uh, grew up being told about the family and everything. So the results kind of changed everything and not for the good. So it kind of, yeah. So, but yeah, I think Dacia did a 23 and me. I'll have to ask her. So, but, uh, yeah, that's a good thing. Uh, good idea. Cause I know I did mine. So, yep, Ancestry.com, I did that whole thing. So, yeah. All right, anything else before we uh, hightail it out of here? Ooh, listen to that wind. Ugh. Anything else? No, nothing? Nobody wants to say anything at all. I found out my birthday is Easter this year, by the way. Just throwing that out there in case anyone once, you know, was thinking about a gift or something. So, yep, it's uh, Easter this year. Yay! -hee. That's the only other. <laughs> interesting info that I have for you all. So, uh, well, I hope you all are enjoying your weekend. Um, I'm going to go and do something. It is time for me to say goodbye. Um, I will see everyone on Thursday. I will post the show ahead of time. Uh, and I will make sure to post uh, Stephanie O'Day's Crock-Pot uh, recipe book on there for everyone to uh, check out if you would like to. Uh, and don't forget that Daniel Payton's shows are um, back on every Monday and Friday starting at 9 p.m. So check him out. Um, yeah. So Chris Evans, later. Later, Chris. Thanks for watching. Allie, Ashley, Nikki, my grandmother, my aunt, my sister, my other sister. Um, Sandy Cheek. Have a good one. <laughs> so, all right, that's it. So, yeah. All right. Well, have a good one. Don't forget to like and share. And uh, make sure to uh, have your pets spayed and neutered. I don't know. So, that's about it. All right, I got to go. So, see you Thursday, everyone. Bye bye. Oh, to my grandmother. Goodbye. Bye-bye.